Hello and welcome to Fusion Fundamentals with me MJ. Today we're going to be having a look at how to make this uh, securing pin. I'm assuming it's a securing pin, sort of go in a slot and uh, hold two things together. Very simple one for today. There's two extrudes and a couple of shapes. Um, this is just going to give you a bit of background into how to do a chamfer. So these edges are called chamfers. They got the sort of sharp points, a fillet would be rounded. So these are called chamfers and uh, we're just going to be working with them today. So stay tuned and see how you do. So let's get started on this drawing. I've opened this uh, image in another tab here. So I can see it's got the a square shape with a hole in it and then a shaft that goes down and the square shape is extruded to 12 millimeters. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a 40 millimeter square and put the chamfers on it. It doesn't give me that top dimension but I'm going to assume it is also 14. So I'm going to go back in here, create a sketch. I want to do it on the front plane. Just click on there on front plane and I'll start with a rectangle. I'll do a center point rectangle. Just drag it out there and 14 and if you push tab it'll jump to the next dimension 14. So that's our square. I'm going to do these bottom fillets. It's at 45 degrees so that means it's two millimeters in on either side because it's a uh, it's equal so if both sides chamfer are equal then you'll get a 45 degree angle so two millimeters there two millimeters there let's go chamfer equal distance I'll select these two lines and these two lines it's two millimeters oh, this one didn't didn't continue so I'm just gonna adjust these or else our drawing will be off two millimeters and then the top is three millimeters so I'll select chamfer again chamfer equal distance this time I'll hold command um, okay no it's still doing it but anyway so select three millimeters and this one is three millimeters so that's our little square done with the chamfers. Now we've got the screw hole, six millimeters uh, diameter. I'm assuming it's centered top to bottom or left to right, sorry. And then it's five millimeters from the top. So I'm gonna draw this. I'm gonna let it snap to this center line there and draw it out six millimeters. There we go. And now I'm going to dimension it. So push D to the dimension from this top line to the center point. Move the mouse out. And I want that five millimeters. Enter. But if you see it's, if you have a look, it's still blue, which means it's not fully constrained, which means it can still move. But I want it to be fully constrained, so I'll push D again. I'll select this edge and the center. I'm going to make that seven millimeters because I know it's 14 millimeters wide. That gives us the center point. So that is our first bit of the sketch done. If we go back to the drawing, we can look over here. It's 12 millimeters deep. So I'll extrude that to 12 millimeters. Select extrude at the top left. Click it. And then we'll click on this face. If I just change the angle a bit, it's um, for me, I hold down shift and center button on the mouse and it changes the angle. And I can drag that out. I'm going to make that 12 millimeters. Enter. And there's the first little bit. But now we've got the shaft going down the bottom. It's um, 10 millimeters diameter and 30 millimeters long. So I'm going to draw on this bottom face over here. Create sketch. I'm going to draw on this bottom face. 
slash center diameter circle. I'll let it join onto this line here. And it's 10 millimeters. And now I want to center that. So I know this is 12 millimeters top to bottom from this current perspective. So D to dimension, click on the center, click on that top line, six. So it's almost centered there. I'll make it exactly six. And then I will uh, dimension this again, center to this outside line, seven. So now we can see it's turned black, which means it's fully constrained. So I'll finish sketch. Now all we need to do is extrude again. So top left, extrude, click on it. My oh, computer's frozen. Sorry about that. Uh, now we click on the circle and I'm gonna type in 30 and it's moving it out to 30. Now important to note, on the right here in the extrude menu, you can see it says join if I were to change that to a new body, it would create a new body. So I want that to join. So I'm gonna click OK. And there is our 3D model. Um, I'm assuming it's some sort of uh, securing pin, but that's how easy it was. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And if you need any assistance, you can contact me at fusionfundamentals at gmail.com. I will put my email address in the description as well as a link to a Google Drive folder that will contain this technical drawing so you can practice by yourself. Till next time, cheers.